Residents in a tiny B.C. town are being told to stay inside and keep their doors locked after police failed to take down an armed gunman. It's been nearly three days since the man had a shootout with police and then disappeared. Jeremy Hanka is in Slocan, B.C. tonight, where the manhunt continues. Jeremy? Robin, the lockdown has been partially lifted here in Slocan this evening, but residents say they're still tense and anxious knowing an armed gunman is still on the loose. From the air and on the ground, day three of the massive manhunt in Slocan, searching the rugged bush for 45-year-old Peter De Groot, who is armed and dangerous, leaving residents weary and shaken. Oh, I was just at home and watching TV and I heard gunshots go off and I saw the cruiser down at Peter's place and I knew like something had happened. The initial gunfight erupted two doors down from Patty Burge at DeGroote's makeshift home when residents say he was served with an eviction notice. Shots were fired, blowing the window from a cruiser and DeGroote vanishing into the bush. It sparked a massive manhunt, DeGroote evading track dogs and infrared cameras. Residents say he's a former soldier who may have served in Afghanistan and also an expert bushman who knows the backcountry. The last little while, I mean, he was always talking about the authorities coming to get him. So I think he, he definitely has a fear of authority. But neighbors say he's also mentally unstable, paranoid and reclusive. Well, I think he's got mental issues and uh, it's been deteriorating and it's finally come to the point where he's got into trouble with the law and he's taken the only way out that he knows and I hope that it all ends well for him in the end and he gets the help that he needs. Now police are still asking residents to stay inside. They don't want many people out on the streets. But police are also now saying that it's possible the Groot may have escaped their containment zone and fled into the vast mountainous wilderness. Robin. Jeremy Hanka in Slocan, B.C. Thanks, Jeremy.